Systemic mastocytosis is also a stem cell disease of the bone marrow. The mastocytes, which are derived from the hematopoietic stem cell, can become neoplastic in some ways. They, they have different kinds of mutations and they manifest in very unusual ways that we don't see in other MPN patients. The mastocytes may deposit in the skin, for example, and cause skin lesions and intense itching. Uh, they may deposit in the airways, for example, and cause serious asthma. They may deposit in the GI tract and cause major abdominal pain and um, bowel disturbances. It's really a different kind of presentation, and the treatment approach is different from the other mainstream MPNs. The mastocytosis disorders have been actually classified into uh, things that range from what we call indolent systemic mastocytosis to mast cell leukemia, which is the other extreme, and, and there are several in between. Diagnosis needs to be made at which stage the patient is. Most of them are actually in the indolent or the best prognosis uh, category and they stay that way for most of their lives, if not all of their lives. Patients need to know that when they come to us and we make the diagnosis of systemic mastocytosis, that we, in fact, do need help from other specialties, like allergists and gastroenterologists, neurologists, and maybe even psychiatrists, to actually help with these symptoms. And again, we have those people available that we have handpicked as what we think are at the very top of their fields.